Hello everybody, my name is Promise and welcome back to more Rebel Inc. Escalation. We're gonna start up another campaign. Partly because it was requested and partly because the last map that I did uh, actually reminded me that I really like this game and we need to play some more of it. We're gonna call this Operation Urgent Alpaca. It's a great name. We're gonna be playing on Brutal Difficulty. Yes, not Mega Brutal, I know. People want me to play on that, but it's not gonna happen. And the reason why? This game is already difficult enough with RNG in the campaigns. Mega Brutal is just ridiculous. I know some people have been trying to beat it for four months and still haven't had any luck because the stars absolutely need to align in every perfect way. It's just, it's, I don't have time for that. I need more consistency. And Brutal is difficult enough, it's worth playing that way. All right, Cashew Jungle is going to be the name of our first mission. No garrisons. Oh, that sucks. Locals have extra concerns. Okay, national soldiers train faster but are weaker, and peace negotiations are slower. Hmm. Weaker national soldiers. Okay, no garrisons. That sucks. What I may do, actually, this time around is go for the general. The general is a great way to boost up the strength of your national soldiers. It's not a top-tier governor, so I don't mind spending this one early. I think this might be okay. The other thing that would concern me, then, is just the priority concern here. But yeah, well, I don't know. Let's try for it. Let's just try it for the general and see how well this one goes. As far as advisors, none. The first map doesn't need them. Remember, if you spend any advisors now, you can't use them for the rest of the campaign. So I don't see any reason to use them on the first map when you already have so many advantages working for you. Right? Right. All right. So Cashew Jungle is based off Pistachio Forest, which is considered by many to be the worst map in the game. Uh, but since it is the first map we get, we get to knock it out a little bit early. Let me go ahead and place the HQ right down over here. We get a fair bit of early game intelligence thanks to all these fully stabilized zones. Let's go ahead and boost that up with our opening moves. Nothing unusual here. Just going for the regional census, trying to make sure that we get plenty of intel. And yes, we can start focusing on military initiatives right away. We do get a garrison because we play as the general. Uh, specialist Depot actually could be kind of helpful in the rural areas. But anyway, yeah, so because the uh, general starts with an extra garrison, we have a little extra strength in some of these regions. It's not the best location, but it will work. I can make do with it as is. Uh, we have no idea what people want yet. So I'm going to go ahead and cover some bases and go for things like a little bit of health care, a little bit of water maybe. We'll see. Nothing too crazy. I don't really want to go for jobs yet if I don't have to, but we could. Kind of up to us. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that outreach office so we can start rolling out these initiatives. Okay, education and mass is what people are wanting. That's fine. We're already providing it. Mudslides, devastating the mountain villages. We can go for some extensive aid, which greatly increases the support level. Yeah, it's an increase in uh, corruption, which is terrible, but hey, a uh, huge boost in some local support and stuff could be nice. You never know. Let's go ahead and grab the Universal Justice next. We probably should get some corruption reduction so things don't get out of control, so we'll do that. And then after that, probably the PR and the Media Office. Let's just go ahead and ramp up that support level a little bit if possible. Very soon, the Insurgents will be spawning. And we want to be ready for that. $16 for the PR campaign. Whoops. Didn't realize it was that expensive, but that's a fine. That's a fine. How are we doing as far as needs? Education around the board. Everyone wants more schools. I have no problem with that. If you want some school supplies, I suppose I can go ahead and just do that, but you guys shouldn't need that much. All right, so now we have some military initiatives authorized. Let's go ahead and grab the Coalition Soldier immediately and just grab this Rural Specialist. Whether we use it right away is a different question, but I'll just get it out of the way so we don't have to worry about it. We're going to go ahead and prepare some land for some refugees, which gives me even more corruption, which I don't like, but at the very least, we got to take care of that. They are going to be spawning in these mountains, which is annoying, and I probably can't do much of anything to stop that. And they are spawning down over here as well. Blech. Okay, so I do want to deploy this. Rural Specialist is generally going to be pretty helpful. Uh, we could start training up some national soldiers, but we get a little bit more coalition soldiers to start. Let's go ahead and use these guys to kick them out, if at all possible, and move them over into these mountains. Uh, we did find a camp, actually. Good. So we can go ahead and destroy that early as well. And there's the other camp located right over here. We want to get that. I don't know where these guys are retreating. I think they actually died or something. I don't know. Where'd the group go that was here? Oh, well, they're gone now. All right, cool. So if you can knock out both camps early on, that's obviously pretty significant. Uh, still, people are asking for more education. Look, I've already got people working on it, okay? I'm not too sure what more you're expecting from me. A little bit more anti-corruption would certainly be nice, but I'm going to go ahead and start immediately training up some of the national soldiers, just so we aren't waiting on that too long. It takes a very long time. That said, as a general, we should be training these guys pretty quickly, so I'm not feeling too worried about it. They're moving in here at the worst possible time, because now we have to defend this as well as destroy the camp. I think we can, but yeah, it's going to be annoying. I'm going to go ahead and apply the Rural Specialist onto you. I don't think it helps much as far as, like, reinforcements, but it still could be nice. Uh, let's go ahead and grab Airstrikes, actually. 
We can just guarantee that we destroy the camp. There we go. Get rid of that. Nice. And hopefully, hopefully win this fight a little bit easier. Yeah, they're going to take this over. I'm not worried about it. Let's go ahead and use these soldiers to make sure we get some more reinforcements. I'm going to threaten these guys. We are already at the peace-talking stage of the game. Wow. That's uh, a little bit earlier than I expected. You guys still aren't happy with education. I can get you more, but like, geez, dude. No, let's just go ahead and start burning down some corruption. All right, so now we have these guys to worry about. I don't actually care about taking these, although I do hate the mountains, caves a little bit. But yeah, we're not worried about that right now. Um, let's uh, let's honestly see if maybe we can just kill off this group real quick before they go very far. We didn't exactly get any security or anything. Uh, some strategic communications would be nice. The first map's really not that bad. We can make a lot of mistakes, and it honestly doesn't matter too much. Found a camp over here. It's one of the reasons that I want to get rid of that. Let's get the interpreters and guides so we don't antagonize people with our coalition soldiers quite so much. I want to get the reinforcements in place so these guys don't have anywhere to retreat. We can probably move over here and attack them now. Some more stabilized zones, destroying the camp. Good. We're moving around over here. We'll deal with that in a minute. There we go. Let's get that out of here. You move over here. We'll clear this out. There we go. Okay, problem solved there. Uh, they're just going to take over this mountain, and that's kind of all there is to it. There's not much I can do about it. Um, we're going to go ahead and move you here, actually. I really wish we could get garrisons. Garrisons are great on this map, especially if they are already corralled in the area you care about. But we don't have a choice. So we're going to go instead for some local police recruitment, get me some extra security, so if we do have little sparks of extra insurgents, we can deal with them. Taking a long time to move around right now. It might be worth getting some roads... Main roads are apparently what we would need. Uh, people still want some jobs and stuff, but eh, I think we'll be okay. Uh, don't let this guy go anywhere. Make sure you fight him off and kick him back into the mountains. And then we just need to defend over here, here, and then have one soldier bouncing around, and these guys will be sufficiently trapped. Yes, there is some insurgent activity to worry about, but I think we're okay. Let's go ahead and move you here. Um, so yeah, let's get some main roads building, especially in this area. Allow me to transfer around a lot faster. What's going on here? You guys want electricity. Ugh, fine, I'll get electricity. God. I mean, on this map, they have significant concerns. If you don't meet their concerns, they pretty much take a long, long, long time to stabilize, which is no fun for anyone at all. You are surprisingly struggling to win this fight. Can we reinforce this very quickly? Not very, and also, we just killed one with an airstrike, so I guess I don't care that much. Never mind, we're fine. Uh, corruption's still pretty high. Let's go ahead and burn that down a little bit. I do want to get some national soldiers going, so let's train some more. We can definitely make our national soldiers a lot stronger than other governors would be able to. So that's going to be a pretty big advantage for me. But yeah, I mean, we started with such a huge advantage going on in the beginning. Like, I, how am I going to mess this up, really? Uh, let's get ourselves some additional soldiers training up. I mean, these coalition soldiers are going to want to leave at some point, right? So we might as well. Yeah, sure enough. Very soon they're going to be leaving. I want reinforcements over here in particular because these guys will have trouble. Well, I take that back. Now we have to worry about this. There's a camp right here. Let's go ahead and destroy this. Would love to clear these guys out. Um, I'm going to do a long extension on the specialist for sure because you're pretty solid. Let's get some more corruption reduction. Let's get some more security. We're at 54% corruption, which is a lot, but not insurmountable. Threaten again for three more reputation? Sure, why not? And a few more troops coming over here. Actually, you can go here, and you can go here, and you can go wherever needed as soon as we see them moving. What is this? We're going to go ahead and investigate further and make sure that we are increasing support level in these areas. Not looking to antagonize the locals too much if we can avoid it. Uh, I'm going to go for a corruption purge so we don't lose too much reputation. And then I'm going to go for some uh, civil assistance so we can start rolling out initiatives a little bit faster. All right, these guys are going to die, so that's going to be good. Got it. Now you move over here. Okay, let's just go ahead and start clearing out some of these zones using my guys. Uh, you, I guess I can go ahead and send home. Hopefully they don't come down over here. They probably will, but we're training up soldiers fast enough. I don't think I'm too worried about it. Okay. So how fast can we get these zones to stabilize, though? Mm, it's going to take a while, it looks like. Pretty good long while, actually. What kind of roads do we have over here? Dirt roads. Yeah, this area's going to be hard for me to defend. But I'm not feeling too worried about it, really. Let's go for another corruption purge. It's still too high for my tastes. I want dirt roads, honestly. Mm. Let's just go ahead and roll out the uh, national soldiers over here. If we need to reinforce them later, we can. But that way we can at least prevent them from going too much further. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab some drones. Let's just start getting some intel. Maybe we discover that they have a camp and we can bomb that thing before it becomes too much more of a threat. 
Boosting up some extra security in a few places is nice. Trying to attack me over here, not going to get very far. This is a pretty large mountain range. It is going to be a little bit annoying trying to... Um, it's going to be a little annoying trying to get in here without garrisons to help. We may want to save a surge of coalition soldiers. That actually might be the way to go. Then we could try for that. Let's get some telecoms. Those do get me a lot of extra support. Want to finish stabilizing a couple more of these zones. Uh, this one is almost done. This one's getting close. We can get some extra boosts to our remote subsidies, and that will let us roll out initiatives a lot faster in those areas. Having the rural specialist here, honestly, is great. It really does help make sure that this guy can keep this area completely locked down. Getting the garrison over here helped a little bit, too. I'm not upset about that. Oops. Didn't even see you move over there. Hello. Okay. What else we want to do? Uh, let's go for some extra travel logistics so our guys travel around a lot faster. We'll probably want to get some additional roads. So let's get some dirt roads going. Start rolling that out in the remote areas. Losing a little reputation due to insurgent activity, but it's completely manageable at this point. We have to get the foreign relations office so we can apply some subtle pressure. Found a camp. We should be able to burn that down pretty quick. 11% uh, chance. I'll take that risk. All right. Three more reputation for me. Destroying those camps. Good, good, good. This place is stabilized now. We can start moving forward a little bit. Let's go this way. And once this is stabilized, I think we move over here. Yeah. Let's see. Is this remote? It's rural. Mm. I want to control probably the east side of the mountain and then just keep pushing. I'm going to go ahead and extend you again just because having the rural specialist is nice. Though it's not going to be very useful once we have to deal with a lot of remote fights, but at least temporarily it's pretty nice. Okay, this area is stabilized. Let's move over here next. To start to pull the noose around him. Let's get some extra strength. And let's get the civil integration so we can roll out initiatives even faster in a couple of spots. We'll probably need heavier ordnance on our uh, airplanes so we can do better airstrikes. Found a camp. Should be able to blow that up. There we go. Boom. And fighting over here now. Let's see if we can get some reinforcements and maybe make this a little easier. Eh, I say a little bit. Didn't make much difference. Let's go for the combat strength on the drones wherever it appears and also some extra strength for our national soldiers. There we go. If we can just win at least one or two of these fights and kind of kick them back, that's all we're looking for. That's all we need to do. Uh, apply more subtle pressure. There we go. Okay, we have this place fully stabilized. That's good. We have a fair bit of extra money. 15% chance I'll take the risk. That's fine. Two more reputation for me. What else should we do? Um, well, let's go for some extra dirt roads. And people don't have any more concerns, so we're good on that front at least. Uh, we could start boosting our national strength even further, and we're going to go ahead and do that. I mean, why not? That's why we picked up the general, right? Oh, let's also go ahead and get rid of the caves. I don't like these caves. They keep spawning people. They're harder to deal with camps. No one likes the caves. Get rid of the caves. You can now move over here and help reinforce in this area. And then once we have this area under control, move forward even further. Drones still doing their thing. Great. Let's go for some more frequent airstrikes. And let's allow the drones to stay longer in a zone so we get that combat boost a little bit longer. These guys now have to retreat. Good. Now I'm going to move forward with you. No. Here, I think. Sure. I'm just trying to think how we're going to keep these guys trapped. We need a lot more troops. Let's go ahead and try to talk to him now. Might as well try. Very slow peace negotiations. Yeah, we have that perk, but I mean, it's not like I'm really relying on the peace negotiations to win anyway, right? So who cares? Uh, let's go for some interstates. We move around faster. Might as well get some other initiatives, including healthcare. Once we get this taken care of, we can move this soldier out of here, move him into this corner. And then once these areas are stabilized, we can finish him off. Of course, I could just get a surge of coalition troops. That also works. But I don't think I need to in order to win this. Let's go ahead and kick you out. Good, good, good. What else we need? Um, well, be nice to get the democratic transition, but let's just go ahead and get some more roads, more polio vaccines, more subtle pressure, cut the support, and we'll start getting the extra reputation from banning insurgents in a few places. Good, good, good. I don't know if we'll be able to get ourselves up to 100 by the end of this, but we might. We'll be pretty close. Let's get some jobs going. Uh, especially for remote areas specifically, so that we can roll this out and make them a lot happier. You're now ready to leave. To be honest, I'm okay with it now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and send you home and not lose more reputation. We would have gotten a better score if we had let these guys leave a lot sooner, but now we have these guys fully surrounded. There's not a whole lot more they can do. And once this zone turns green, we move in. That'll be it. Uh, hand in all of your weapons. You don't need any of those. That's ridiculous in my society. Let's go for the remote subsidies over here so we can build out spe uh, jobs specifically for the remote areas. Build up that support level a lot faster. 
5% cover up, fine by me. I'm not worried. Look how much money we're sitting on, by the way. No issues. No issues here at all. Drone's still doing its thing. Let's go ahead and reduce the cooldown of all airstrikes. We can just start softening them up nicely. What about over here? Imprison your leaders, of course. And they're feeling very antagonized right now, but where are they going to spawn? Answer, nowhere. They can't go anywhere. Oh, you can now move in for the kill. Okay. So you're going to have to retreat over here, and then you're going to get ambushed. Uh, let's increase the pay of our national soldiers. And again, more subtle pressure, 98% chance. So with the general, we made these guys far more competitive. Now they should be able to win this fight, no problem. And boom, there we go. Okay. Now we just start enjoying all the extra reputation. Let's go for the uh, democratic transition, for example. We'll prioritize some elections, make sure we get plenty of money. Or whatever. Uh, insurgents, say you're sorry. They're not here anymore. They're all dead. It was a trick question. Come on, where's the prioritize elections? <sighs> Reject the deal. I want, I want, I want freaking, I want the, the reputation. Donate to charity. Sure, why not? Come on, where's the prioritize of elections? You're supposed to give me a pop-up. There it is. Three more reputation for me. Thank you. And now we just have to worry about this last little zone, which, by the way, is building up pretty darn quickly. Um, let's go for some significant funding for a tournament, which makes everyone a lot happier. Blah, blah, blah. And we don't even have to worry about getting the uh, the peace deal at this point. It's already over. So, first map went well, and that's to be expected. The first map usually goes well. Second map usually goes pretty well, too. It's the third where I find myself having some serious issues. Full elections, no chance of being disrupted. 112 reputation. By the time that we are done with this, let's go ahead and agree to the peace deal and just end it right now. Perfect. Done. Very, very simple. Okay. Well, five stars, 12,000 points there. No advisors used up. Just used up the general. The general was pretty good. Could have saved it, but oh well. Local recruitment. Insurgents increase in numbers as they gain control of zones. I do not like that one. That's going to be rough. Start with garrisons. Start with a tank or manually control drones. All of these are terrible. I guess I'll start with more garrisons and maybe this ends up being helpful to me. But this is a terrible lineup. I was really hoping for early support or something like that, but okay. Uh, it just means we're going to have a rough campaign. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're looking forward to the rest of this campaign. If so, then of course I would ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time.